It's no secret that getting best buddies in Pokemon Go is something that requires a lot of time. But as per usual, I got a crazy idea. How fast could you really best buddy a Pokemon? With the idea in my head, I consulted the record holder for the most best buddy in Pokemon Go to see if this was really possible, Schaefer Quest 777. And after going back and forth with her a bit, she let me know that it is possible to get a best buddy in 10 days. It requires some luck. But you know me, that's all I need to hear. So we set along this journey to get the world record 10 day best buddy in Pokemon Go. Okay, and welcome to our world record best buddy run in Pokemon Go. Now we're gonna be getting about 30 hearts on our buddy a day, and today I wanna take the time to show you guys how this is all possible. Now, first of all, this is the buddy we're gonna be best budding. This is actually an extra large, shiny Sableye. You know, Sableye is my favorite, so it only makes sense for this run. But the first hearts we're gonna be getting on this thing are not even gonna be in here, and it's actually going to be using this device. See, last night I tracked my sleep rewards. If you don't know Pokemon Go, when you track your sleep rewards, you can get bonus hearts with your buddy. Check this out. There, the device is connected. Now we gotta wait a little bit, got the notification, and then now the sleep rewards should come through. And there you go, tracked sleep rewards, and you'll see I get two hearts with my save light buddy. And this is what's really unlocking this world record run, because this wasn't a thing before. Now to get the most amount of hearts on your buddy, you're gonna wanna use a Poffin, which is gonna double all the hearts you get on every single reward possible. So we're gonna give Sableye a Poffin. Obviously, take a quick snapshot, go ahead and play with him for one second. Okay, that's all you get for the day, boy. As you can see, we've already gotten 12 hearts that simple. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and battle. I always come in the battle section at the bottom, the team leaders, you can go ahead and battle. I have a preset party. I'll throw them in there. And then what you can do is enter the battle like this. And then instantly I'm giving up. Sorry, Spark, your Raikou is just too strong. And then what you'll see here is look, I got two battle hearts. So we can just do that three times, get all the battle hearts. And yeah, there you go. That's already 18 hearts on this buddy. Now we need 30 hearts on the buddy. So we have to head out to finish all the rest of the hearts. But keep watching this video because there's something very important you need to know that could make or break this run. And we're going to find out about it today. Let's go out and let me show you how to get the rest of these hearts. Okay, guys, we're here in the car. If you're new to the channel and you're always wondering why we're in the car, well, I live in Ottawa and it's like super cold outside. And also this is all just a little more efficient. But pretty much the first of these missing hearts we need to work on is going to be the root. Heart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a route together. I have a couple of local routes I can do in, you know, 30 seconds in a car. So we're just gonna go ahead and whip down one of those, get those two hearts. And there you go, we're at the end of the route. We're gonna go ahead and click complete. And there you go, Sableye, two more hearts. By the way, look how big this Sableye is, man. This guy's like literally half the size of me. It's the biggest Sableye I've ever seen. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next clip with the next hearts we need to get. Okay guys, we are to the next heart we need to get, and it's actually not one of these main ones, but it's gonna be a bonus heart. And that's gonna be the heart you get for spinning a Pokestop powered up to level one. Now I found this Pokestop, it's not level one, but it is almost level one. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this up, give it a spin, and we'll get that bonus heart. And let's do some scanning. Go and tell Niantic. And there we go, yes, there you go. Powered up to level two. This means now, Oh, actually, I already spun it. Once I can spin it, I will get a bonus heart. And also, this will stay powered up for the next two days and 11 hours, which means we can utilize this Pokestop. Let me give it a spin here to get bonus hearts the next days. And there we go. Yeah, you see three bonus hearts at the bottom. Okay, we have found the next thing we need to do, which, as you can see, is gonna be visit a new place. Now, that pretty much means spin a new Pokestop, and as you can see, we found one. Now, if you don't know the difference between a new Pokestop and a Pokestop you spun, it's this Halo. And this is actually probably gonna be the most challenging part of this run, is gonna be to try to find a new one of those every single day, because now, as you can see, no more Halo, I've spun it once. I've spun pretty much like every single Pokestop in Ottawa, so yeah, that's gonna be a challenge. Nonetheless, as you can see, all the hearts are collected now, except for the Waka hearts. So we're gonna have to walk two kilometers three times, so six kilometers totally. So I'll do that throughout the day, and then we'll update you at the end with what the biggest hurdle of this speed run is gonna be. There's some luck involved, that's all I'm saying. I'll see you guys in two seconds. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've gotten all the hearts on my buddy. I pretty much just drove around the car at like 11 kilometers an hour, and that leads us to 29 hearts on our buddy. But this brings in something I want to talk about, which is the problem. You see, it takes 300 hearts to get best buddies with a Pokemon. So in theory, you could get it in 10 days if you got 30 hearts a day. And 30 hearts is actually possible, and 31 hearts is even possible. But it's only possible, you'll see here, if I click in, once you've gotten the great buddy, 
or the Ultra Buddy level. The reason being here is some of the bonuses is gonna be find presents for the Great Buddy and find souvenirs for the Good Buddy. And if your buddy brings you a present or a souvenir, you get an extra bonus heart, which means the total possible hearts you could get on a buddy is 31. But it is impossible to be the Great Buddy level, yet we still need 41 hearts, which means it's gonna take us two more days to get those hearts. What this means is three of our 10 days, we're only gonna be able to get a max of 29 hearts. And then we won't be able to get 31 hearts until we get 121 more hearts, which I think is like, what, three, four days more? Another problem is that buddy souvenirs and presents are not guaranteed and there's no way to trigger them. So overall, this run is gonna require some luck because that means three days in the future, we're gonna need to get two presents or souvenirs from our buddy on that day to make up for the 29 hearts we're getting today. Nonetheless, that is day one. That is what we're gonna be doing over the next couple days. So what else is there to do than cue the montage of grinding buddies? Hey guys, quickly, we're actually trying to work and see if we can get a group trip set up for me and you guys to go on soon. We can all meet up in a certain country, explore the area, eat the local food, catch regionals, play some Pokemon Go. But first, I gotta know where you guys wanna go. So click the link below of this video. There's a quick two minute, no commitment questionnaire. You can answer it. Just let me know where you wanna go, what's your budget, all that stuff. And then depending if there's enough interest, we can definitely plan a trip and uh, maybe I'll see you guys out on my next adventure. Okay, now go watch me crush this world record. Day two, complete. And there we go, we are officially now a great buddy, which means we can now get presents with our buddy, but hopefully now we're able to get 30 hearts a day instead of the usual 29. Hey, and speak of the devil, we already got ourselves a present from the Sableye. This is huge because this allows us to get 30 hearts today and start catching up on all those hearts we missed. I do believe it's also possible to get two presents per day, so who knows. Okay guys, it's day four, and luckily Sableye has brought us another gift, which is great. We need to make sure we're getting one gift every single day, or else we're gonna fall behind. Thank you, Sableye. And that is officially the end of day five. And as you can see, another 30 hearts gained today. And we are actually about halfway here. Obviously I'm missing those two hearts, but tomorrow we do unlock ultra buddies, which means you can get souvenirs, which is gonna change the course of this run, which we can get a total of 31 hearts instead of 30 hearts per day. Nonetheless, consistency is the word to remember. Let's keep going. Hey, we've officially hit uh, ultra buddies, which is great because now we can get more gifts. But here we go, should be our first souvenir. Yeah, souvenir. Okay guys, and that's the officially the end of day three, which was a big day. We hit ultra buddies, and I also found out that technically we can get 32 hearts a day, which I didn't know was possible because one of these bonus hearts, I got from a feature that was completely random where your buddy finds you a Pokestop and get an extra heart. Nonetheless though, 31 hearts for the day, we are on track, world record, here I come. Okay, and that is officially the end of day seven, which we're able to get 30 hearts, which is great. We're missing 91 hearts, which means about three days left. And hopefully one of those days we can get the extra 31 hearts. It's kind of insane. I've literally only been best buddying this thing for seven days and it's almost best buddy. I've never best buddy something this fast. Say bye. You're gonna be my best friend soon. Okay guys, this is when things become make or break. You see, it's officially day nine of our world record run. And if we look at our buddy here, you will notice we're 61 hearts away. We can pretty comfortably get 30 hearts per day, but one of the two next days, we're gonna have to get 31 hearts. And this is gonna require some luck, like I've mentioned throughout this whole video, in which Sableye will hopefully bring us two gifts today or tomorrow. Obviously we have one gift, which is amazing, but nonetheless, hopefully today goes well and we're able to get 31 hearts because that will then secure a 10 day best buddy which I believe would be a world record. Anyway, let's get all our hearts on our buddy and we'll see you guys at the final day. Guys, guys.
guys, guys, guys. This is huge. So randomly, I opened up my game later on day nine and our buddy has brought us another gift, which means we're getting 31 hearts today. And that should show us here if we get the bonus heart here. If I come here, it will show me officially 30 hearts remaining to get best buddies, which means we'll officially do this in 10 days, which I believe is a world record. Again, I didn't do anything. My buddy just brought me two gifts today. There was a lot of luck involved in this, but huge shout out to Sableye. All we have to wait on now is hopefully Sableye brings us a gift tomorrow and as long as we get one gift tomorrow, we'll officially hit best buddies with them. Cross our fingers. Okay, good morning everybody, pardon the crappy audio, but this is officially the last day of this grind. We've already gotten our sleep hearts, as you can see here, and Sableye brought us a gift. As long as we get every single heart today, we're getting best buddies. Let's go prep this guy up. See you guys probably next time when we're best buddies. My God, I'm so glad this grind was complete. Okay guys, officially two kilometers to go, and then we'll have the 10 day vest buddy. 28 out of 30 hearts, wow. Okay, well I'm gonna keep driving around at 10 kilometers an hour. We'll see you guys when we're best buddies. Two hundred meters to go here. We've been on a long journey, save alive, but I'm glad it was you that was on it with me. And there it officially is. Let's take a look here. <sighs> well, there it is, 10 days later, officially best buddies with Sableye. Man, I've literally never best buddied a Pokemon this fast. Nonetheless, we should hopefully be getting a best buddies thing. There you go, we are now best buddies, and we've earned two new perks, man. Again, 10 days completed. That, I think, is officially the world record for the fastest best buddy. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see me run after more world records, let me know in the comments section below, and I guess we'll see you on the next one. Say bye. Say bye. Bye!